dry, hot weather, certainly not helping firefighters who have been working around the clock battling this huge wildfire that's been burning in South Jersey. But they're making some progress in containing the flames. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Rosti Matei is live in Egg Harbor City. Good morning, Ross. Good morning, Jim and Janelle. Can you tell we've moved a couple miles closer to this fire? Look at how thick this smoke is out here. We are set up at one of several roadblocks in Bass River Township, and you can see they got the cones in front, signage. We also got a New Jersey State Park police vehicle behind us, if you can even see that. And then behind that is a general store. I doubt you can even see that. That's how thick the smoke is out here. And I believe we have some video to show you of what our commute was like driving down the road to get to where we are right now. I mean, it was treacherous. The uh, smoke was so thick that sometimes the visibility was at most 50 feet in front of us. At its worst, it was less than five feet. I mean, we could not really see what was coming at us, which is a, a scary reality. So we took it nice and slow. We put on the flashers like we saw many of the other drivers out here doing. But again, scary situation to be in out here in uh, New Jersey where this fire is burning in Burlington County. I do want to show you some footage up close of those flames in action. Uh, you can see just this strong orange glow. This is from yesterday and also a wall of flames climbing. Climbing those tall trees inside the Bass River State Forest. This fire started on Wednesday night, and since then it's now grown to 5,000 acres. The New Jersey Forest Fire Service tells us that firefighting conditions actually improved throughout the day yesterday, and by about dinner time they had this fire 50% contained, but they do still have their work cut out for them. And that is largely thanks to the efforts of firefighters who spent the entire day setting up containment lines and trying to mop up some of the exterior of this fire. Earlier in the day yesterday, we heard from residents in Burlington County describing just how hard it is to breathe out here amid all of this smoke. I would second that. And also, what it's like seeing ash fall in your front yard. It was really still. It was foggy. It was smoky. It was just like, it was like another world. Usually, you don't worry about it too much because everything gets under control pretty quickly. But when you see the ash coming down like it was today and the, you know, and it's just, it was just kind of overwhelming. Yeah, scary stuff. Now, the good news is here that the Forest Fire Service tells us that no structures are threatened at this time by this fire. But again, they have crews out here around the clock. They're st planning to step up their manpower right around this time now that the sun is rising and they can actually see what it is that they're fighting but guys this thick this uh, smoke is very thick and uh, we've been cautioning drivers as has the forest fire service about whether or not they actually want to continue down these roads because it's just so hard to see out here i'll send it back to you in the studio yeah those crews certainly have their work cut out for them ross thank you so much for that report and you and your crew stay safe out there this morning thank you